Hey everyone, I'm here to bring you semi-live coverage of me um, demonstrating this Ocean Currents Lab. Hopefully it won't look like this with the bright lights behind me, um, but I'm going to get everything set up, ready, I'm going to show it to you, and then we're going to kind of watch things happen. So, um, stay tuned. You will see no time pass, but for me it's going to be a little while, so um, we'll try it. We'll see how I can do it. Okay, so it's been a little while for me. Let me take you on a magical journey through supply land. And you can see this in your lab, if you're in my class. Here's my blue ice that I have that I pre-made in preparation for this. Let me walk you through our lab. Wow. So I've got everything set up. I've got a... Can you see this okay? Oh, it's too high up and stuff. Pay attention. Okay, so we've got a clear plastic bin, and I've kind of got it supported on these mason jars. Same thing here, I've got it supported up above, and same thing here. Um, so, while, by the way, I'm using my amazing computer, and it's amazing 2014 camera, and turbo graphics. I'm going to need this red food coloring to help you see things, and then, so we don't kill the cameraman here. The last thing I'm doing right now in preparation is heating up some water. I don't need to get it to like a boil or anything, but I do need it heated up. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how uneven heating um, in the ocean can affect ocean currents. So we're going to look at how it is in some different areas. I've got to really make sure my setups are even because now that I'm looking, it looks like one isn't. So what I'm going to do is make sure my setups are nice and even. I'm going to add some water and some food coloring, so that way they will be ready um, when my water is heated up. I'm going to have to do them sort of one at a time and show you over the course of five or so minutes. So hopefully my ice won't melt, and hopefully um, everything will work. In fact, I might have to do the ice first, um, so that way it won't melt before it's time. So now you saw my setup. And when everything is prepared, I'll start walking through each one. Okay, I think we're ready. So in this lab setup, I'm going to do the one with the blue ice first because I'm worried that the ice is going to melt and the refrigerator is not in this room. So I wanted to make sure that I got the ice one done first in our lab that we're doing. This is actually the third one. So what you're going to see, you're going to see some blue ice here. I'm going to put some red food coloring here at the bottom, and I'm going to get ready and transfer some hot water into these two right here, these two. So you'll see some red above these two, nothing here, and a blue ice cube here. So we'll, we'll be able to see the red dye moving. i got to kind of move quickly and try not to move the dye too much as I'm doing this. So. I'll set it back up for you all to see. I know you're going to see a little bit of nothing for a minute, um, but that's all right. We'll work it out. It would have been much funner, more fun. Fun is going to work. Yeah, I know. It would have been much more fun to do this with you in person. So right now you can't see me, but I am using a towel to remove this hot water from my hot plate. I'm going to put some hot water into these beakers, and then I'm going to put the dye and then the ice cube in. So, hot water one, hot water two. Try to get about the same amount of water in each one of those. This is going to be the hard part. Okay, I know it's not going to be perfect. And last but not least, we will get our blue ice cube. So take a look and see how that water is going to move and behave. Well, looks like I'm going to be blue today. Isn't there a song about that? I think that was from when I was in high school. So we have our blue ice over there. So hopefully the color is bright enough that you can see the blue ice and the red above the hot. So blue for cold, red for hot. Hopefully these are fairly warm. Hopefully they'll be warm enough. Um, I'm going to continue heating up the water and de-bluing my hand. 
while you guys kind of watch this. It's going to take a little time, but you'll see things change. So remember, the hot water is under these. I know you can't see it totally well, but you've got the water sort of moving here. And you've got your blue moving here. I might add another blue ice cube, but I'm a little afraid it's going to make it too blue. Like my fingers. And while this is heating up, I'm going to start preparing for the next two setups. Remember, you can always turn things on like 1.5 speed while you're watching in case this is long, because I know it's kind of long to just watch this. Um, I'm also worried that even though this water in here is pretty warm, it might not have been warm enough. So I may do, redo this at the end. We'll see how things go. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to get the other part set up, and I'm going to show you to, them to you. I'm thinking I might redo this because I'm worried my hot water just wasn't hot enough, and I might have used my tap water might have been just a little too warm. So maybe you didn't see a whole lot. Um, kind of record your observations. Think about it. I'm going to potentially redo this. I can just cut this part out. You know why? I can't. I don't have video editing software, so. Once I get my sweet YouTube money, then maybe I will. All right, we're getting ready for the first setup. Here it is right here. So this is like the lab one. Where I'm going to have three dots of red food coloring, and I'm going to have a cup of hot water, hot this time, hotter than hot, um, in the middle. And then I'm going to move the camera so you can see. I'll actually move it on this side of the table. So you'll be staring right directly at it, and you'll be able to see how the water is moving because you'll see how the colored dye is moving. So this I'm going to fill up with water. I'm going to gently slide it, gently slide it underneath. Um, hopefully I won't disturb the um, stuff too much that's inside. I just wanted the, uh, yeah, you have to be real careful with that. Um, so 
if I have a thing open, I'll leave it live on camera so you guys can see. So you can see the setup a little bit better, I hope. Um, you'll be sort of looking at it from the side, but I cannot make it any taller. Hi, here I am. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to add the die. Um, let me add that right now, actually. I'm going to add it in three spots. One here. One here. And the last one right in the middle. So there is going to be some movement of this just due to diffusion. I'm going to hurry up and get this hot water so you can uh, not burn myself. So you can see what happens when we heat up the middle dot. So, yes, it is moving right now. Don't panic. But girl, I got some hot water right now that's going underneath there. So we'll be able to see what happens when this water in the middle heats up. Oh, man, don't, don't burn yourself. Not today. Ah, okay. So I'm just going to double check to see what you see. Oh, yeah. Oh, check that out. Okay, so the middle one has hot water in it. So take a look at what happens. It's probably going to take about three to five minutes for you to, like, see some observations and for it to heat up that water that it's right above. Okay, but I'm going to make sure the last one is set up nice. And then we'll look at the last one, or the second one. And I may redo the last one. If this video goes on for a long time, you'll know. <clears throat> excuse me, you'll know I redid the last one. So take a look. It's definitely got hot right underneath the middle one. In fact, I see a little bubble come up from there. So it's got to mean something. I don't know how well it's turning out for you, but I can definitely see the red dot in the middle. The dye is coming up more from the one in the middle than the, those from on the side. So right now, to me, it looks like the warm air, the air. Hi, I work here. I'm a science teacher. The warm water seems to be pushing up okay, and going up more towards the surface. So I do see a bunch of dye spreading out on the surface. Let me try to move y'all around. Okay, let's, let's take a look. I don't want you to see from the side. Let's look from all angles. Hi, that's not the angle that I'd like you to look at. Okay, so here's the, it from above. Let's get really close in and see if you can see what I see. Okay. So there are those three dots. I don't know how well it looks on your screen, but I can look like this. Uh, there, I think you can see it now. And I see that the dye is rising up from the one red dot in the middle going towards the surface. And I see the red pooling up on the surface from the middle dot. Okay, so that's what I noticed. I'm going to put you back there and I'm going to let you observe for a little while. Remember, I think you can hit double speed, that sort of thing, and just kind of take a look at it and go into super speed. At 1.5 speed, I sound like a chipmunk, so that could be interesting for everybody. Um, so let's take a look here. I'm going to put you back here. I've got the next setup ready. All I need is the hot water. So once this is over, we'll do that one. It's going to be great. Do I want to wear a camera today? Alright, 
So again, I can see, I wish you were here. It's hard to see from the top. I'll try to like turn you upside down so you can see from the top. It might be hard to see from this angle and I wish I could show you better. But it looks like the middle die is rising up and swirling and spreading outward. Okay, so it's spreading out over the surface, not at the bottom, but the die is going up and spreading out over the surface. That's what I noticed. So I'm going to hit pause, clear this off, and get you the second one, where we've got two hot waters, two hot waters on the sides, and nothing in the middle. So let's take a look at that in just a moment. What is up guys, LEA here with another video. Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe. What if I could figure out different people to feel like you think people to subscribe? Science Review. That's the only person that I want to copy because they're my favorite. Well, they, they were. I haven't been watching YouTube for a while. All right, back to reality, back to this lab. I've got this setup going right here. You can see part of it because I'm not going to do my laptop camera. I'm going to put hot water in here, and I'm going to put the dye in here, and then I'm going to whoop, put it on top, and we're going to observe it. So here we go. I've got some hot water. I'm going to pour it into these cups. Oh yeah, that's hot, girl. Yes, this is how I talk normally. So, like this sounds weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't know that that was news. Sorry. Um, sorry, you gotta look at my midsection. That's not the best part. This is hot. Don't do this. Alright, now that I've got my setup, I've got my hot water, I probably should have had the dye in here first, but that's life. Okay, there's one. There's two. And there's three dots of dye. So you, after you saw that first one, hi, you know, you're talking to my stomach. Well, anyway, after that first one, you could probably make some predictions about what you think is going to happen. So you can always pause, make some predictions. What do you think is going to happen? How do you think the die is going to move? Um, why do you think it does that? If you're not sure, um, you can look in your book about warm air and warm water and how it moves. There are tons of really good YouTube videos, like really, really good. Not like mine. I'm not saying that to be like, oh, Miss Heffer. No. There's some really great videos of people who are super tech savvy and who explain these things so amazing. Take a look about why does warm air rise? Why does cool air sink? What about warm water? What about the salinity of water? When is water more and less dense? What makes it like that? Um, that's the computer, by the way. Um, so take a look. I know it might not be super clear because it's not totally clear plastic, um, but hopefully you can see all this as close as I can with it still being visible. It's not great. There. That's probably as good as we can get you right now. Um, but take a look at what's going on over the two hot ones. Um, what do you notice? What do you see coming up? Okay, sorry, it's backwards for me. Right here. Um, take a look at that and think about it and um, just watch. I gotta leave it up there for a little while so you can make your observations and see what's happening. So as you're making observations, I did decide I'm going to try to redo the original one with the ice cube because I think my normal water wasn't hot enough. So I got to heat it up real good. Okay. Then we 
we'll see if we can get any better, like, look at anything. So I, I see more mixing underneath the surface. It could be that I added a little bit too much dye. In fact, it seems very likely. Speaking of YouTubers that are really good, you know who looks like this? He's binging with Babish. That's one of my favorite YouTube channels, and I recommend him. He talks about cooking. He makes um, meals from, like, famous shows. Like, I don't know, he made the Krabby Patty from SpongeBob. And usually you only see him, uh, I don't know, from the waist to, like, the chin. And that's because he wants to show himself working in the kitchen. Maybe that's what I should do. Just show, like, my midsection, this, this level, so you can see what I'm working with with science. You should watch Binging with Babbage. So what I see now, I don't know how clear it is for you, so I'll describe to you what I'm seeing. I see the dye rising up over the two um, beakers that are hot, kind of like the first one. Like I can clearly see the dye like billowing up, especially from this one. How clear is it on yours? Well, I hope it's clear because you can really see the dye coming straight up. Um, it's really good on this side too, actually. So I can see where there is heat. It causes the dye to rise to the surface and then spread out. Okay, so um, when we're talking about particles and we're talking about atoms and we're talking about energy, um, heat is just movement of these particles. So all the particles, like in, in water, so like the water molecules, they're moving. Okay, they're think of it, they're flowing. Okay, I was actually listening to that song today. Okay, I'm old, but whatever. Um, so these particles are flowing. They have energy to them. If they have more energy, more heat energy, they're actually going to move faster. And they're going to bang into each other and bounce off each other and slide past each other. They can transfer some of that heat energy to the other particles. Eventually, the heat energy will be transferred so that all the particles end up with the same amount of energy. And if they end up with an increase in energy, it's going to be warmer overall. If they decrease energy, it's going to be cooler overall. So there's no, I mean, there's no such thing as cold. There's only heat. So the energy that's, that allows these particles in air, in a solid, um, in a liquid to move, because even particles in a solid move, that's heat energy. So um, the heat is causing these particles to rise. Look, I'm blue. What's that? Um, it's causing them to rise and then spread out and distribute that heat across the whole surface. Okay. Then as it will cool, that's the next part, you can see it cooling and sinking back down. Okay. See if you can pause it, see it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get out my good old cell phone. I'll take some pictures of what I see. And maybe if you're like, yeah, I couldn't see super well. Oh, yes. So there's a nice old reflection there. I can see it rising up. Yes. Work it, experiment. You go, girl. Okay. I'm going to do something to keep myself entertained. So if there's, like, trouble or you weren't able to see it, you can just ask me. I'll share with you some of those pictures that I took. Um, and maybe it'll help you see it a little bit better since I'm seeing it from a different angle. Um, but, yeah, it looks really cool. I'll try to move you around so you can see this better, too. Okay, so maybe there you can see it from the top. I don't know what I'm doing. Everything's backwards on here. Sorry it took so long, but maybe you can see it from the top, how things are rising up, like billowing up, and then getting to the surface and spreading out, and then it'll sink back down. So now you can almost see, like, this is, if we were in class, I would be like, okay, well, you're, this part's all done. You can go ahead and put it away. Everything is kind of starting to spread, and everything's becoming red, okay? Um, so that's because the, the cooler now, red, is sinking back down. Isn't that neat? This is why I wish we were here. It would be more fun to do it in real life. If you have any kind of stuff like this at home, you can try it at home. See what happens. Okay, I am going to redo the third one. I don't like how it turned out. Um, I think I used too warm of tap water and not warm enough heated up water, but I have heated it up. It is hot. Uh, the ice is a little mushy, but it'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll make it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the last one one more time. I've heated up some hot water. It's here. I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to add my red dye, and then I'm going to add my, oh, I'm going to add my ice cube. Sad. The ice is not looking so great, but that's okay. It's kind of what I thought would happen. 
So I've got two hots here, and we're going to see what happens when hot, where's the fast ice cube at this point, comes in contact with cold. So going all the way over there, my last little cold icy cube. Don't want to touch this blue and red hand, but whatever. That's life. Okay. So look at the direction the cold is going. And look at the direction the hot is going. How cool is that? Don't don't sit there and tell me it's not cool. Cause it's cool, because it's ice. Get it? It's still actually cool too, so. This is working so, so much better, so perfect. It's going to go fast because I've heated it up and the cool ice is going to melt really, really, really quickly. In fact, it's almost gone. But look at the direction the cold water goes and look at the direction the hot water goes. And then we can kind of see in the middle where they're mixing. Um, isn't that neat? So this should help you understand like ocean currents, why they move in a certain direction, why we see like warm surface currents and like why they're going to move or why if it's heated up at the equator why it's going to move to the surface okay, and why we'll have like warm surface waters. Um, I would be happy to answer your questions about these labs. Whew, can't be getting up and down like that anymore. Not as young as I was when that I'm blue song came out. Don't get old, kids. Uh, well, I mean, like, grow up, but, but don't get old like that. Look, I'm going to be blue for days. You won't see me, but I, I, look, look at my pinky. I'm all blue. So I hope that helps you understand about the movement of warm and cold water. It took a minute for me to set this all up and do it. It would have been way better for you guys to do it. It's way better. I'm going to take a picture of this one, show it to you, because it's so cool to see. I'll try to take a picture and post it on the uh, on our classroom. Oh yes, work it. Experiment. Go, girl. It looks really cool. I'll take you above um, and then to clean up. So you can see, here's the... Wait, can you see? So there's the one. Kind of, kind of filling it up. And then here we have the last little bit of the ice cube. Sending its cold water down to the bottom. And it can kind of have mixing. Um, it's going to mix in a weird way and then it's going to get heated up. So we could see if we left it on. Actually, I'll leave it on because you can see. You can totally tell I don't script out my videos before I do them because I keep noticing cool stuff. Okay. You can look here. This is where we're going to see the first mixing between the cold and warm water. I don't know if you can tell what's happening. But I can see blue now coming up. Actually, it's purple. Because the blue cold water has come down, circulated this way, and is mixing with the red. And now I see, I'm going to bring it over on this side where I am. Hi, it's me again. I work here. This is what I do for a living. Look at that. Just look at it. Wow. You see the blue coming up? That's because it's circulated down um, towards the hot, and now it's going to circulate back up. So that's where we get, like, think of, like, the, the wind currents that I talked to you about, the Hadley cells and the feral cells, how the, the air will heat, rise, move, cool, and sink, and then that cycle will go again. That's what you're going to see. If I put more ice, you would see that. You would see, like, a circular kind of current going through. How cool is that? This is why we need to be in school a little bit. But I really encourage you, if you have some sort of stuff like this at home, um, Try it. You, you, Miss Huff, I don't have a beaker. I don't have a hot plate. That's true. You might not, um, but you probably have like glasses or styrofoam cups, which can hold hot water. Maybe you have some Tupperware. You can try it. I mean, try it when you're not doing something. I know I have this whole big setup behind me. It looks way cooler on the video, by the way. Um, but you can try some of these things on your own. Um, I'm not... I'm not saying you have to do it, because I did it for you, but if you have some of these things at home, try it for yourself. Like, it really helps to see some of these things. 
but I'll be around for you to ask questions about the lab. I'll be around for you to talk to me about it or, hey, I couldn't really see too well. Um, this is where I need an editor so I can draw the little colors going up and down and stuff and pause it so you can see and whatever. Um, but yes, I will be around for you. Um, ask whatever questions. If it's not clear, you couldn't tell, just ask me. I will try to help you in whatever way I can. But it was fun doing this lab. It would have been more fun to see you guys do it and see you get excited when you see it work. But we'll be back soon and we got to be back when we're safe. So I hope this helped. I hope this helps your understanding a little bit more. And I will see you soon. Bye.